and welcome to another speed paint. This time I've recorded one of my traditional watercolours. It was tricky to set up, the first part was blurry so I've cut it out. Sorry about that, it was pretty much the first wash anyway so you didn't miss much. Because this is such a dark dark, I'm having to do quite a few layers since watercolours can be quite subtle. I used to have issues with the paint behaving badly. It would either warp or get really, get a really weird texture. I knew, now I use Archie's paper, which doesn't do this. It comes in a block which prevents the majority of the warping. I've added a bit of colour in the black, so it's just giving the painting a bit of life. For the texture of the fur, I have a really old but useful brush. It has different length bristles which makes fur so much easier. With watercolour, I find it nice to let the paint do a little bit on its own while you guide it with your brush. So in some areas, I'll put a light wash down, then some pigment, and guide the paint into the area where I would like it to be. This results in a nice pool in effects, that is very typical of watercolours. I used to feel quite anxious doing this, and I still find myself being quite tentative with this technique, but I find I've proved on it a lot. Another thing I will do, you might see it a little here, is that I will apply the paint and leave it to dry slightly, then go back in and blend the areas out. This can give a really nice soft look while also having much more vivid colour than just blurring it out right. I got into doing watercolours when I went to uni. I did some really big paintings with it. I used the biggest paper I could get my hands on and I still have a huge roll of it. I think it's under the setting or something. You can't undo much with watercolours but to give my dogs a bit of a shine I will soak an area and apply a kitchen towel and soak the pigment up. Sometimes it's a lot more successful than other times but generally it leaves a nice shiny look. With the eyes I more or less make the upper half of the eye pretty dark and add highlight in the lower area. I start these eyes by laying down a flat brown colour. The dog's eyes are much more darker than this. When the area dries I add a black layer. What you can then do is use your water and remove the black layer and some of the brown and get a nice shine in the eye. And there it is, all finished. Thank you for watching.